What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about why I'm getting As Dusk Falls. This is my preview series where I talk about an upcoming game, movie, or whatever, and talk about what I'm going to be doing with it. Now, for As Dusk Falls, as you can tell by the title, I am, and by actually the opening, I am going to be getting it. There's a couple of reasons. There's also some things I'm concerned about. So this is a pretty good opportunity to kind of discuss, again, what I feel about this game heading into release. So this is a game that uh, has always stood out to me, okay? And it's good, again, it's, I guess, stood out to me for good and bad reasons. And this game releases on July 19th. It's obviously uh, on Game Pass. So that's a big plus and a reason I would say just all on its own to look at. If you have Game Pass, I mean, this is a different kind of game. It's $30, I believe, if you just wanted to buy it. But if you obviously have Game Pass, uh, then it comes free with it. And this is an interactive story. Now, the, the visuals of this game is both a pro and a con to me. It's something that's always stood out to me where it's like, I really, and, and I said this during the Xbox Bethesda showcase this past year, I really want to like the visuals of this game. As of right now, I will say I think it actually doesn't work for me, okay? And that's, of course, without playing the game, so that could easily change my mind. But right now, looking at the visuals, it's a standout, but for me, it's a standout where I just don't know for sure if they're going to be able to pull off a emotional storytelling, which is kind of, I mean, it's an interactive, it's, it's not necessarily a drama, but I mean, there's going to be decisions you make in this game that impact what happens to these characters. I do believe they can die, um, because it says, like, who will live? So I guess the, the reverse of that would be, you know, who could you get killed off? So the characters are going to go through things in this game, and I just don't know if the visuals is going to be able to support that. That's And that, again, that's just my opinion right now. Um, I, I know some people do like it. I, I Again, I expressed that I just like, I, I want to like it, but I don't know if I can say that I like it during the Xbox Bethesda, uh, Bethesda live stream. And a lot of people actually said, yeah, I'm kind of with you. Like, it looks cool. It looks interesting. But those visuals just really don't do it for me. So we'll see what happens. But this is a... Another part of this game that I actually had to look up, they didn't. They don't really make this clear, this is going to be one of those games where you decide on your phone. Um, now, if you watched, actually, they did do a behind-the-scenes video, I think a couple days after the Xbox Bethesda show, where they showed it just briefly. So this really now reminds me of a game like Hidden Agenda from Supermassive Games, if you guys remember that. And there's been other games where you use your phone to answer. Um, that would make sense. Uh, I, I was also kind of worried about, well, where does the decision-making... Like, like take place on screen because the screen looks like you want everything focused on the visuals and what's going on are there going to be like dialogue choices like floating in the air like what's going to happen there are things that kind of are placed right you see in the behind the scenes where like you're getting attacked by a dog or something and it says like to swipe but you're doing everything on your phone and you're going to be able to do this by yourself or with a group of friends and you're going to be able to basically vote in terms of what can happen and what can't happen now i like that uh and, and again that's always something that stood out to me in this game in terms of well you choose what happens i mean those games always do speak to me but that does remind me of a like a hidden agenda where you can decide on your phone and you don't know maybe there's somebody out there that's sabotaging that this game seems a little bit more simple there's not like a, a hidden meaning behind uh, you know the phone thing there's not like somebody trying to screw you over but I, I like it I, I actually do kind of like it um, I, I don't normally obviously most games I play with a controller it'll be weird not having a controller but uh, I'll get used to it uh, with a phone so look I, I'll be real with you the visual style is something that jumps out at me where I think that it maybe could work but it hasn't worked for me so far I think the idea of like an interactive story where you choose you know what happens to these characters that jumps out at me and then game pass I mean this is to me this is a very different kind of game okay and I think there's actually gonna be a lot of these kind of games that come to game pass over the next year where it's like these are not gonna work for everybody it's really even like when they show different things at like the game awards or, or summer game fest right they show a big group of games and there's probably going to be a game for every person but not every person is going to like every single game does that make sense so and i feel like that's kind of the case for game pass over the next little while as dust falls is a different looking kind of game i think it's going to work with some people i think flat out people are just going to skip it i think people may hate it right like you're going to have that but you're going to have that for scorn you may have that for Somerville. You're going to have that, I think, for a, a wide variety because what they're basically trying to do, right, is just throwing things and saying, hey, here's all 
these different kinds of games. Some people may like them, some people may not. And again, Game Pass is obviously a really big uh, factor in this. I mean, it's coming out. There's no risk if you have Game Pass, right? Give it a shot, see what it's like. So I will be reviewing this. I will be covering this game. Again, I'm really hoping that it, it wins me over. I think really the, the strengths of this game is probably going to come down to the writing, okay, in terms of like the plot and what happens and, and how your choices change from one thing to the next. The characters, the visuals are either going to like just get to a point where you accept them, right, or you don't. And then we'll see how the, uh, the, the phone thing works, right, because this could be maybe a fun game that doesn't maybe immediately jump off as fun where you can get a group of friends together, sit on your couch, and you're making decisions, right, with or against each other on your phone. I mean, that, that kind of does open this game up to a different group of people that most games can't have. Now, that may not work. It may not be all that fun. It may not be a fun game really to, to connect with. We'll see. We'll see. But I think just the fact of, you know, using your phone with your friends, that could be something that makes it stand out to some people, um, you know, and, and gets this game that maybe, that maybe just wouldn't or maybe would overlook a game like this. This could maybe be the thing. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. If you want to follow me or support me anywhere else, all my social media, including my Twitter, my Patreon, all that stuff is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.